What's up, everybody? So, my name is Devin, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 1999 Acura TL. It's got a V6 single overhead cam and it has multi point fuel injection system. Hi, guys. I'm Colin. I'm Devin's assistant for this afternoon. I'm going to show you some of the sensors on this here 1999 Acura TL. This right here is the map sensor, and then we got the uh, the throttle position sensor right here. And then right here, if you can, Devin can get in there, we got the engine coolant temp sensor. And then if we come over to the back side here, we got the air intake temperature sensor. Now follow me to the other side of the engine here. This connector follows and goes down in here to the camshaft position sensor. Then on the bottom here, which we'll throw a picture up on the screen, uh, down in here we have the crankshaft position sensor, as well as in here we have the knock position sensor. We'll throw up, I don't think you can see it, uh, we'll throw a picture up on the screen. What is up guys? So we're gonna be testing the DLC pin voltage on the DLC connector. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna ground your meter. So you're gonna just find part of the frame, which evidently we have part of the frame right here. So you just make sure that's on there nice and tight. And then you have to put um, key on engine off. What you wanna do is you wanna take your your um, test lead here, you want to gently put it in there and notice you'll be getting some voltage. So then we're just going to go through here and test each individual pin. So we're not getting anything on that one. Getting some voltage there, about 5 volts. Nope, jumping around a little bit. There it is. Nothing there. And then on your sixth pin on top, get nothing. Pause it. There's pin five, got no voltage. Pin six, no voltage. Pin seven, also no voltage. And pin 8, also no voltage. Now working down on the bottom. Pin 1 on the bottom, no voltage. Pin 2, got about 11, 8, 11, 9. Pin 3, nothing. Pin 4, nothing. Pin 5, nothing. Pin 6, nothing. Pin 7, also nothing. And pin 8, we have nothing. And there you go, guys. That is how you test the voltage on your DLC connector. So, guys, once you've located the connector, of uh, the DLC connector, what you're going to do is you're going to want to plug this tactron to the vehicle. But it's kind of hard to get in there with the shifter being there. So if yours is broken like ours is, you're going to take the key and you're going to insert it right in here. There's a little button in there. You'll feel it when you press it. And then you can move it back. We'll put it in neutral so we don't go nowhere. Okay. Once you have done that, you'll take the connector and you'll insert it. Once it's inserted, you'll take your key here, not drop it like me, insert it into the ignition and turn it to the on position. Once you're there, this will pop up right here. So we have an Asian vehicle, so we'll go to Asian vehicles and it's already in here. We'll just hit keep 
Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Once you get there, we got a lot of stuff we can do here. We got data stream. We can view the data that it's picking up from the car. It'll take a few minutes to load. Okay. So once you've done all the steps I've previously stated, you'll hit entire data list. And from here, you'll be able to see all the sensors and things on the vehicle. You'll be able to see their readouts and whatnot. You can see your fuel trim, vehicle speed, um, whatnot. If we go back here, a few, we can go, we can read codes. We got special tests. We can print the data that we have. Um, tool setup, code lookup. Uh, let's go into special tests here. Um, we can test the O2 sensors, onboard systems. We can see vehicle information, what modules are present. Uh, yeah, pretty nifty little tool here if you're trying to diagnose your vehicle. Alrighty, so we're going to start the vehicle here and we're going to kind of watch these PIDs go up. Uh, more specifically, you know, the map and the coolant here are going to go up quite a bit. So if I give her a little revs for the map and the uh, manifold pressure in there starts to fluctuate. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to set this right here and I'm going to go unplug the AIT. Alright, I'm going to be unplugging the intake air temperature sensor. Alright, go ahead Devin. And see now it reads negative 4. Uh, that's its default if it's unplugged. Uh, so yeah, Devin go ahead and uh, plug it back in. And it goes right back to where it's supposed to be. Thanks, guys, for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Peace out.